Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a very nice non-standard equation. We have 2 minus 2 to the power of negative x equals x, and I call this equation non-standard because we have an exponential on the left hand side and a linear function on the right hand side. So, let's go ahead and take a look. I'll be talking about Lambert's w function to solve this problem. I'm going to show you the result from or from alpha, both the exact values and the approximate values. And then we'll finish up with a graph. So let's get started. So in this equation, first of all, I want to do a couple different things. I'm going to do a lot of manipulations. So, you know, dividing both sides by something, multiplying, adding, subtracting, whatever. Whatever I need, I'll, I'll walk you through it. And let's get started. First, I'd like to subtract x and add 2 to the power negative x because that's what my equation needs to be uh, in that form I do need. So 2 minus x equals 2 to the power of negative x. Great. So I'm going to be doing a few different things on this equation to bring it to the point uh, that I can manipulate using Lambert's W function. Okay? Great. So let's go ahead and start by multiplying both sides by 2 to the power of x. So 2 minus x to the power 2 to the x equals 2 to the power of negative x times 2 to the power of x. Everything we do is allowed here. Basically, we're not really violating any of the rules. If you do see anything that doesn't work, just play, let me know. So now, 2 to the negative x and 2 to the x is going to give us 2 to the power of 0, which is 1. So that's kind of nice. So we get 2 minus x times 2 to the power x equals 1. Awesome. The next thing we're going to do, and I know, first, these things are not going to make that much sense to you. Uh, hopefully it'll be understood, but my goal is to basically bring this expression into a Lambertable uh, form. And what do I mean by that is what is Lambert's W function? Let's go ahead and open up parentheses here and start quickly talk about Lambert's W function. So it's basically a function where it takes x times e to the x as an input and outputs just x. In other words, it's the inverse function for x e to the x because if you invert this you're going to get that so basically whatever this function is we're talking about the inverse of this function okay and notice that in order to be able to get to that you do need something like x multiplied by e to the x and i'm not there yet but we'll get to it we have a two at the base we'll take care of that and we don't have an x but we have two minus x you get the idea okay hopefully you do and let's continue from where we left off i'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides by one fourth next from here, multiply both sides by one fourth, and obviously one times one fourth is one fourth. And now one fourth can be written as two to the power negative two. Let's go ahead and write it that way, and then combine these two exponentials. And hopefully you get to see what I'm trying to get at. This is going to give us two to the power x minus two, and the whole thing is equal to one fourth. Nice. Notice that my exponent is x minus two and whatever multiplies it is 2 minus x. They're opposites, so we can easily take care of that by negating both sides. In other words, multiply both sides by negative 1, and you'll get what you need. So, here's what it looks like. Multiply by negative 1 and multiply by negative 1. Just put a minus sign there and you're good. When you multiply 2 minus x by negative 1, it becomes x minus 2, because the opposite of a minus b is b minus a. That's an important property. You should know. And then now we almost got what we wanted. And I don't know why notability is messing up my equations like that. No idea why that's happening. And then this is going to be negative 1 fourth. And now notice that the x minus 2 and the x minus 2s are the same. That's good. Now we, we have to take care of the 2 because remember in the Lambert's W, you do need E at the base. So, but I have a 2, but that can be easily taken care of. Remember, e to the power ln 2 is the same thing as 2. So that's what we're going to use. We're going to replace 2 with that. So let's do it. x minus 2 multiplied by 2 to the power. So 2 e to the power ln 2 and then to the power x minus 2. And that's going to be negative 1 fourth. And then we're going to go ahead and multiply the exponents. That's what it means. x minus 2 times e to the power x minus 2 ln x equals negative one-fourth. We're almost there. Notice that the exponent is x minus 2 ln x, 
but the, the number, the coefficient is x minus 2. So I do need to multiply both sides by, by the way, that's not ln x. It's supposed to be ln 2. I just realized I'm not, it, it shouldn't be a variable. Okay, so I'm supposed to no notice that this is the expression I'm trying to get at, but I only have x minus 2, which means I must multiply both sides by ln 2 next. You see how it proceeds? Hopefully you do. x minus 2 multiply by ln 2, and that is multiplied by e to the power x minus 2 multiplied by ln 2. Notice that we got what we wanted, and then multiply negative 1 fourth by ln 2, you're going to get negative ln 2 divided by 4. Awesome. Great. Now we can just w both sides, but before that, let's do a little bit of substitution, which is going to help us. So I like substitution. You probably already know if you've seen other videos. Let's call this t, and this gives us, actually, do I want to call it t? Yeah, that's fine. t times e to the t equals negative ln 2 over 4. So the left-hand side is nice because if I just apply Lambert's w function, I'm going to get t from here. Make sense? Awesome. But before we do that, let's go ahead and work on negative ln 2 over 4 a little bit, and then we'll come back to this. Okay? So take negative ln 2 over 4, write it as negative 4 ln 2 divided by 16. In other words, I multiply the top and the bottom by 4. Why am I doing that? My goal is to get the something like this with a constant. And to be able to get that, I want to be able to use powers. So because powers are very powerful, haha, <laughs> that's a cheap joke. But anyways, I can now go ahead and move this by using properties of logs, and that gives me ln 2 to the power negative 4 divided by 16. Awesome. What can I do with this? Well, I could probably do the following. Actually, that there's probably a better way to do it. Let me write it this way. So since I have the negative 4 already, I can go ahead and write it like this. This can be written as negative 4 ln 2 multiplied by 1 over 16. And then now I'm going to do something for 1 over 16. Let's go ahead and leave negative 4 ln ln2 alone, but write this 1 over 16 as e to the power ln 1 over 16. Remember, that was the same idea that we used to write 2 as e to the power ln2, and we're basically using the same, same idea here. Okay? Cool. We're almost there. Now, what is 1 over 16? That is 2 to the power negative 4. So let's go ahead and write it that way, and then now you can go ahead and move this negative 4 to the front, and That'll give us what we want. Make sense? So here's what it comes down to, negative 4 ln 2 multiplied by e to the power negative 4 ln 2. Notice that now these two things are the same. And that was the goal. Make sense? Let's go ahead and call this c for constant, not k. You could also call it k, I guess. So this is going to become c times e to the power c. So going back to what we had, this became what? c e to the c. Now I have t e to the t equals c e to the c. I'm pretty sure you're going to say something like, okay, then t equals c, right? But let's just do it the Lambert way. So we're going to w both sides, and then that's going to give us the answer pretty much. And from here, by applying Lambert's w to this, you're going to get t, and you're going to get c from here. Now, what is t? And what is c? Let's back substitute. t is... What is t? I forgot. x minus 2 ln 2. Great. x minus 2 ln 2 is t. And c is, we just calculated it, negative 4 ln 2. Great. Negative 4 ln 2. So hopefully at this point you can just cancel out the ln 2 and come up with x minus 2 equals negative 4. And from here you get x equals negative 2. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the values now and then we'll discuss what is going on here. So x equals negative 2 is a solution, but is that the only solution, right? That's a good question. So let's go ahead and take a look at the graph first. Oh no, what is going on? There seems to be two intersection points. What is going on here? Okay, there's another one that just popped up, 1.69 something. Looks like there are two solutions, but we only found one of them. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the values from, from alpha. There are two solutions. There are basically two branches, I think, for Lambert's W function. And then, numerically, this is what we get. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.